So we're at the Molecular Foundry, uh, and Molecular Foundry is a relatively new nanoscience institute uh, at LBL devoted to bringing nanoscience to the larger scientific community. And this is uh, the biological facility, and what I'm going to talk to you about today are some new reagents we've made for biological imaging. And it turns out that biologists are constantly looking in the microscope, um, trying to see cells, things in cells, uh, to study how biology works and to study disease states. And it turns out that none of the things biologists look at are actually visible under the microscope. You have to add some sort of reagent, something, to light them up. And it turns out that one of the best things uh, for this purpose is a nanoparticle called a quantum dot. And these were developed earlier uh, by the people at LBL. And quantum dots are great because they're very bright and they're very photostable, two things you really want in a reagent like that. And what we've done is add now a level of complexity to these quantum dots in being able to turn them on with light, which also turns out to be very important. A lot of times, uh, if you're looking at cells in, in a microscope, you want to be able to illuminate just one small part of that cell, or you want to be able to turn on illumination in that part of the cell at a particular time. And what we've done is developed what we call caged quantum dots. And these are reagents that are dark, and then until you hit them with a strong pulse of ultraviolet light, in which case they light up enabling people to light up just one part of a cell or to light up things at a very specific time.